welcome back everybody to Let's Play some Final Fantasy XIV. We're queued up for our next dungeon of Hawk Manor. Awesome. Got some friends with me to help me out so we don't have to deal with uh, people who are poopy heads in Duty Finder. Sorry to say, but it is kind of true. Well, if that's not creepy. Pretty nice looking place otherwise, you know, but it wasn't just so dark. I want a big foyer like this and nice stained glass window and so let's get our fairy out. Awesome. These are my buddies. Say hello to them. They're awesome people. Helping me out over here. Unfortunately, I don't have Rouse for my fairy yet, but that's a-okay. We'll manage. As long as nobody dies, we're good. See, my fairy's gonna take care of most of this. <laughs> Just all right. Uh, fortunately, I cannot cleanse that uh, that poison off because I will not get my cleanse to level forty, which is poopy. But we'll live. So this place is populated by these manor maid servants who are. Uh, Succubuses, or succubi, uh, what the, what's the plural of that? I don't know. But that big AoE they do, Dark Mist, uh, should be stunned because they'll like terrify you and yeah, you won't be able to move, which is poopy. I love how we have these carpet stains and they're freaking sl uh, slugs. <laughs> and we have attic bats who are on the first floor for some reason. You forgot the key, guys! So throughout this manor, there's going to be a bunch of locked doors and a bunch of tiny keys. Uh, that is one of the very few keys you actually need. Most of the rooms in here are side rooms, so we do not need to go into them. If my group is deciding to go into them, I don't know. I've told them either way is fine with me. So we may, 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 may or may not see the whole dungeon, but uh, it's mostly like the same enemies throughout. Like this one is a side room. I think it always got a, a treasure chest full of trash loot. So we don't need to worry about it. Oh, they both want to shove her on this? Oh my god, my friend is so weird. It's like Dot City over here. Should be losing at local in between pulse. Obviously, it heals for crap right now, but it'll be much, much more potent later. I'm gonna go pick up this key. It's very tiny. And of course, they all unlock all the same doors. Okay, I guess we're gonna, are we gonna skip them. No, no, no. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Okay, they're gonna go in. This one... Whoops. I'm gonna end up pulling shit. Whoops! But there's some good experience in this dungeon. We probably have a giant mushroom mold. And more bats. Crappy ethers. This is some weird setup for the couches. Like, well, I have two couches there, and then I have another one here, and a random chair. And so oh, that one's knocked over. I 
So this part we have like there's actually three men or maids over to patrol various parts of this hallway. The third one uh, is off screen where you can't see them just yet. But it is possible to pull them individually. You can actually see some uh, the molds way up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of maybe kind of dark. I may want to actually heal my tank. That would be really fun. Come on, Celine. Be a bro and heal the tank, would ya? Awesome! This is one reason I love scholars, because your fairy can, well, be your little punk. So yeah, here we have an ivy door. It's not just a regular locked door, it is an ivy door. So the regular small keys, which are universal throughout the whole dungeon, will not work here. And as you can see on our objectives, one of which is to find the green key, which will fit through the ivy door. Because ivy is green, apparently. Whoops, I thought I was not in cleric stance, and apparently I was. So I accidentally just turned it off. I hate when I do that. It's so annoying. You're like, oh crap, I'm gonna go drop my cleric stance, and then you turn it on by accident. I have to wait five seconds to turn it off so you can continue healing the tank. So yeah, for some reason they blockaded this with a bunch of furniture. Oh, we forgot a lost key. Oh well. I think it was it's in one of the side rooms that we didn't go into. That has like two keys. Oh fine. So this is our first boss right here, who is pretty much just a souped up version of the other manor maid servants we've seen in here. She's got like the same move. She has an AoE fire attack, but that's really the only difference from her and the others. It, this is just a big tank. It's big. Yeah, that right there. So I'm moving my fairy up here next to the, right next to our tank. So I can focus on uh, DPS a little bit more here. And she'll do all the heavy lifting for me. Which is awesome. Unfortunately, I can't tell which of my dots are which. They're supposed to appear in green when they're yours, but sometimes I find that doesn't really happen. Plus, I'm awful at reapplying them anyway. I often clip them too soon, but my job is not to DPS. My job is to keep the tank alive, but when he doesn't need my help, yeah, I'm DPS. I'm a punk scholar like that. I'm totally admitting it. We just beat the crap out of her. Now I gotta make sure to heal. Celine, heal. Get over here. There we go. So now we get the green key, which obviously drops from her. We don't want to go around the way to the other side because if you look on the map, that leads us actually to a dead end. So we actually need to go back. We found the green key, which opens the ivy door. Now you can actually kind of shortcut this mob and just like jump over the railing here or even down over here. It basically just depends on what the group wants to do. I've seen groups equally speed run this place and equally clean it out for the experience. Bane is making short work of this, these things when we have three of them. So now we actually have skeletons into the mix. Uh, who these guys were, I don't know, but 
so it's a bit different from the usual, you know, insects and carpet beetles and bats that you would find in a decrepit place. I don't know why the bats aren't in here. I mean, I know they're called attic bats in here, but you would expect them to find them either in the attic, which we actually don't have access to, or the cellar. Like, that's where I would expect to find be, uh, bats, but... Now here we have the carnation door and a yellow key to find. Unfortunately, the, car the yellow key is back that way, but it's our path is blocked, and because of the whole video game insurmountable waste high fence issue, we have to go all the way around in order to get to it. And apparently there's like... Uh, this place has like an actual freaking dungeon in here, which is odd. I mean, look at this place. This is clearly meant to be a dungeon. Why do you have a dungeon in your basement? How did that butler guy work here for so long? I would have been creeped out by this. I don't care how, you know, awesome his, uh, his boss lady was before she went all crazy and started killing all those women because they were more beautiful than her or whatever the hell the story is, something like that. But, like, seriously, this is creepy. I mean, some of these are obviously used for, like, this is obviously, like, a storage unit. But when there's like beds and a bedpan, yeah, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, he just pulled those mobs right out of that room right there. And I just healed him in cleric stance again. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, I saved you. I wish I could get that poison off, but no, nope, the game kind of, you know, was mean to scholars and did not give us our cleanse until level 40, which is lame. Because, like, by that point, like, half the time, enemies that give debuffs like that can't be cleansed off and you need to avoid them other uh, in other ways. Not all of them, but a bunch of them do. No, oh, we have a piece of loot. Oh. They didn't roll on it yet. Okay, never mind. Never mind. So for uh, basement, this actual place is actually uh, pretty well lit. I mean, it's not really any darker than the hallways, but these chains on the wall still kind of bother me. And that candle holder looks like a phallus. Okay, did anyone else see that? I, I'm, I regret looking at that now. Use a tiny key to unlock the door. And there's another, there's a treasure chest in the corner there. The weird thing about some of these, the chests in these, uh, the basement rooms is some of them are trashes, trashes, uh, uh, trash loot, and some of them actually are treasure chests, like the one um, that contains equipment that they still haven't rolled on yet. So here we have the yellow key sitting in the corner, which I'm going to go pick up after I top off my tank. And we actually have a drain in here. That's interesting. But this place is kind of musty. And hell, hey, look! Those barrels of booze? Awesome! Now this is said insurmountable waste high fence. You cannot get here from the other side. Went tennis while you had to go all the way around. And we have come full circle now to the carnation door. Hooray! Now we actually have two bosses in this room. Um, we have a big skeleton steward. And his friend, the Jester. Neither of them are, are very tough in particular or anything like that. The, the Imp just casts like ice spells and um, the Steward has a drain like that, but nothing nothing too spectacular about these guys either or anything like that. Yes, your typical tank is fake. The boss will get interesting later. 
Oh, I may actually want to heal him. I haven't been paying attention. Celine, do your damn job! Not really, that was my own fault. <laughs> getting hit twice as hard by other stuff. And I have no... Oh, I still have a stack left anyway, so it doesn't matter. So it doesn't really matter which one you kill. Some people usually kill the Jester first. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Now we get a bloody parchment like you. Is that better for me? No, not that. Yeah, I'll roll neat on that. Now, if you notice, we have nowhere to go right here. This is like the one dungeon in the game that actually does this. We need to go back to the start. And the easiest way to do that is actually just hit return in any dungeon that will bring you back to the start. This is the like the only dungeon where this is actually useful. Now I didn't show it off when we first came in here, but we have a sealed barrier right up the steps. And the bloody parchment is what is going to break open that seal. Hooray! You would otherwise not do get that until you get the... Obviously, you beat the second boss, so that's why you gotta go all around this hall below. Now, there is a hallway with two trash poles and um, a treasure chest that may contain some decent loot, but also may equally contain some crap. But we need a tiny key, which we forgot one of them, so we aren't able to do that. So we're gonna defeat this manor sentry here. Who is actually gonna flee. About 50% health. And open the door! If you notice, there's that little, uh, lily on the door. We uh, just met a bunch of La Habrea's cronies. Awesome. Well, at least they were nice to us, you know. For the most part, you know, they did unleash, you know, kind of a succubus on us. So this is the lady of the house. Who is the succubus? Big shocker there, considering what the hell is going on everywhere else in this place. But, unlike the first boss, who she is kind of a carbon copy of in some ways, she has a few tricks up her sleeve. This being one of them. There's four of these void lamps are th scattered throughout the, the corners of the room, and they will pulse a red white AoE until you shut them off. And she'll actually do this twice, and if you notice, now there is a, um... A bomb that is gonna go chasing after people. Not fun. Now, unfortunately, the dots are kicking her butt, so we may not even have a problem getting be defeating this next part right here. But, uh, she actually has two handmaidens who are succubuses, and succubi, whatever, and a man or sentry in here. Now, usually the boss is not this dead when you actually get to this point. Um, the dots are just absolutely just murdering her right now. 
But the idea is, obviously, you get to take out all the ads, which have their own dark mist, by the way, if you keep them long enough. Oh, while well handling. Oh, the AoEs from the boss itself. It's not really that difficult, but it can get a little hectic. Um, especially for a scholar here, because um, I have no AoE cures right now. But we manage that well, uh, mainly because, like I said, the, the, the damage over time is just absolutely annihilating her. And that's it! We actually made that look really easy! <laughs> So she has finally been put to rest. For good. That's a nice bedroom though. Can you imagine like dancing around in this place? Like I would love that. Like I love to prance around the room. Like uh, listening to music randomly like all the time. And I would like, like look at how small this bed is. I, need, I would need a bigger bed I think. But like look at this place. Like you can do friggin gymnastics in here. It is so awesome. Pretty high ceiling though. I wonder, you know, who flips the light switches on this place, but whatever. Hopefully there will be no more murders of those beautiful innocent women with their faces unrecognizable. Now, unfortunately, because of the lost episode nonsense, I will not be able to show the dialogue at the end when we go talk to the uh, the steward guy in Gridania who uh, begged us to. Uh, Kind of put an end to his former mistress. Um, basically, he thanks you for what he's done and um, some of the weight on his heart and his mind has been lifted and whatever. And he thanks you and all that good stuff. It's I mean I'm I'm, I'm sad that I I lost that recording, but it's not really that important. You know, we put another's mind at ease and. There will be no more murders or anything like that, so that is awesome. So next time, we're actually going to head back to the Waking Sands and uh, check in with Win, uh, check in with Minfilia again, and uh, put a close on this chapter of the main story. And thank you for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.